Welcome to Outdoor Quest TV. I'm Vanessa Harrop. Today's episode is called Full Circle in the Arctic. Now I started my big game hunting career 17 years ago, getting on a plane in Yellowknife. At that time I was hunting Central Barren Ground caribou and it was the very first animal I'd ever taken. Today, we're headed on a float plane to Almer Lake Lodge and I'm hunting muskox less than 100 kilometers away from where it all began. Coming back here is a reminder of where I came from, how much hunting has vastly changed my life and the amazing journeys that I've experienced. Since then, I've hunted on five continents and taken many, many big game animals, but I'll never forget where it all started. Well, we're off. This is getting real, so Almer Lake Lodge, muskox is hunting. Beautiful, beautiful day. It's very calm out. I am so excited, beyond excited. Well, we made it after a beautifully smooth flight and they're just unloading our gear and then we'll head up to the lodge and check it out. I'm with Kevin McNeil of Almer Lake Lodge and uh, Kevin, just tell us a little bit about what we're planning on doing for the next couple of days. We're going to go muskox hunting, <laughs> barren ground muskox hunting. We're the first outfitter in the Northwest Territories in Unit U and we've been allocated muskox takes. This is the second week of our hunt. In the past week, we were four for four for bulls, and we shot some really good bulls. We're 400 kilometers northeast of Yellowknife. Uh, we're the furthest lodge out of Yellowknife, going towards Nunavut on the east-hand side. We're only 60 kilometers from the Thelon Game Park. The Thelon Game Park is actually the oldest park in Canada, Vanessa. Oh, wow. And it was designed for muskox. Really? That's, that's what it was designed for, for muskox. So. It's a learning curve for us, but as well, you know, first time doing the muskox yep, hunting. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's a big, steep learning curve in that regard, but we have quite a few bulls, we have quite a few muskox in the area, and we'll get on a bull with your archery. Yeah, we're going to try first with, art, with archery, but, you know, we always have a backup just always in case. Always have a backup. <laughs> well, this is actually a really cool hunt for me because I started my big game hunting career 17 years ago in the Northwest Territories. In the Northwest Territories. Yeah. So everything's come full circle. Full circle. Yeah. So Kevin, what is the plan? We'll Tomorrow? head out in the morning and uh, we'll troll along and watch the shoreline, see if we can't pick up some herds that we're looking for. If we can't pick up what we want to see, if we can't find them from shore, then we got a few spots where they're at a couple of days ago. So then we'll hike in those areas and get a high vantage point in the glass and see if we can't pick a bowl out. Mm -hmm. And then we'll make a move from there. Well, I like I say, I. I I'm so excited. I've been excited since the day we, we started planning this. Yeah. And, you know, muskox are such a cool, cool animal to yeah. hunt. So what a way to finish my Super 10. Everyone has a dream season at some point in their lives. <laughs> We've got full freezers, a busy taxidermist, and several animals in the record books. We sure do. Join us for our best season ever. Join us on our dream season, season 24 of Outdoor Quest TV.
Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Sacco Antica Firearms, Demand Perfection, Zeiss, We Make It Visible, Loa Boots, Simply More, Silver Willow Taxidermy, See the Difference. Closed captioning provided by Deluxe Wall Tents, made in Canada for Canadian conditions. Well, Kevin, we got all settled in our cabin. You got a beautiful lodge and cabins Thanks. and everything here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So we got in early this morning, which isn't actually normal for your clients to come in no, early. Not normal. Yeah, so we're not hunting today, but... Nope. Um, we're this, gonna go out and do some fishing. Yeah, there might be a fish or two in this lake, I hear. Yeah, there might be a fish or two in the lake. We'll see if we can go catch some lake trout and some arctic grayling. This is uh, Vanessa's hunt, but uh, I was pretty happy to come along as cameraman because I love catching big lake trout. And you've caught lake trout over 60 pounds here. Yeah, we catch lots over 60. The lodge record is 67 pounds. A lodge record for arctic grayling is six pounds. Wow. So we do really well. We get lots of, this year our biggest fish so far is 53. But yeah, we do really, really rough. Tons of fish over 40. Let's go see if we can beat that 53 today. Let's go. All right. Okay, let's get her going. I'm gonna lose them this time. <laughs> Told you the sun comes out. Yeah. Beautiful. Holy crap. A lot of grunting going on up there, Vanessa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I do not want to lose this fish, but. Woo. So, you okay that we couldn't go hunting today? Yeah. Well, yeah. This didn't seem like a bad thing to do. Yeah. Just. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it was you who didn't like the sight of or the boat. Oh, oh shoot. Beautiful. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh am I glad that got into the <laughs> Beautiful fish. Oh, is he ever gorgeous. Oh, thick. And look at that. The hook just popped out right there. Yeah. So, how much did that weigh? 28 pounds. 28 pounds, yeah. Beautiful fish, but gorgeous. And that's just an average fish here, right, Kevin? That's just an average fish here for Elmer Lake. We catch these every day. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna Beautiful take... fish, though. Oh, gorgeous. Okay. Hurry I'm, up. <laughs> I'm going to take a couple photos and we'll call, get her back. Beautiful. So, your personal biggest lake trout? First Absolutely. Time. That was awesome. Holy Halmer Lake Lodge doesn't fail. Yeah. And we're just getting started. <laughs> right? Yeah, you still got to catch one, don't you? Yeah. The bigger one. I think you got to shoot a muskox too yet, don't you? Well, yeah, there is that thing too, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, Kevin gave me his, uh, his secret hook. I, I pulled out my secret and it didn't work very well. So, Kevin said, try this one. So, I did. and. Didn't take very long to get a hit. Nice male. Yeah. There we go. Well, there's my my first Elmer Lake Lake trout. We only get bigger from here, right, Kevin? Yes, that's correct. But nice, healthy fish. That's gorgeous. Well, it's just a little warm up till the next one when the 40 comes. Get this one back, and uh, we'll do a little more trolling. He's a fair size. He, he actually felt a lot smaller than he is. Real, 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 real. There you go. Beautiful fish. <laughs> that did not feel like that. <laughs> that feel, felt like my little fish that I got earlier. <laughs> that one might even be bigger. He did not feel that heavy. I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> nice wow, one. he's a nice one. When I saw his head come up, it was like, oh, oh, mm -hmm. that's a bit bigger. So what are you doing there, Vanessa? <laughs> I'm this, cradling a giant fish. This is it National Hug of Fish Day? Or <laughs> but a beautiful fish, oh, though. Oh, my goodness. Personal best. Gorgeous. What do you weigh? 
34 pounds. Beautiful What fish. a way to start a trip, eh? What a way to start a trip, eh? 34 <laughs> pounds. Well, we decided, to Elmer Lee. Right? We just got into camp today and uh, decided to get out some fishing before we go headed out for muskox tomorrow. And um, I think TJ was supposed to catch this, not me, but we'll see. We'll see what he gets to do. Yeah. <laughs> but tomorrow we're busy. Well, tomorrow we're busy. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. What an amazing fishery you have yeah. here. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Defense Aerosols. Bear spray for when your life depends on it. Safari Club International Canada, first for hunters. Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine. Midland Radios, communication for every adventure. Well, it's morning of day one, and we're all loaded up, ready to go. We're gonna head way up the lake to a place they call Carpenter. And uh, Kevin spotted a group of uh, Muskox up there, so we'll see what's happening. Hey, Kevin? Yeah, we'll see what's happening. We have a herd up there. We filmed them once already. They eluded us last week a couple times, but we know they're there, so we'll just go see what we can do today. There's 32, 32 Muskox in the one group. That's the down part is there's lots of eyes right. with archery hunting. And then the up part is there's uh, 11 shooter bulls. Okay. So we have quite a few animals to choose from. So. so do they stay in sort of the same area? They don't move? They'll move. They'll move yeah. like, they'll move overnight, three, four miles. They'll move okay. easily. So they're just kind of grazing and moving around, but they won't leave the, you know, a bigger area, but there's so much undulation that it's like, how many ridges do we go over? Right. <laughs> Got it. I mean, so we'll just have to go from there and see what we can see. Play by ear and we'll just make a play on them when we find them. As you can see, I'm dressed a little heavily. The reason why is we've checked the weather and by about noon, it's supposed to rain and then get very cold. So we're dressing prepared in lots of layers. We can shed the layers as we go. And uh, this is super exciting. I can't wait to get out in the water and start glassing muskox. Very cool. First animal, caribou. Could that be a sign? Get to the top here and glass. So we just got off the boat and figured we'd come up here because there's a nice big ridge and look along through this valley just to see if they're in there. It's the only problem with going along with the boat. You get these ridges, you can't see on the other side of them. So we thought we'd pop up here, have a look. Saw two beautiful caribou and um, nothing here. So we'll go back to the boat, head on down and we'll just kind of work those, those edges. Every now and then we'll get out of the boat, climb to the top, glass a little bit and go back down. That's what our day will, will entail until we see a muskox. So we're just checking out the caribou on the hill when we came around the corner here. Kevin's like, what do you see off in the distance? So I'm trying to glass with the boat. I see rock, 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 black blob. I see black blob move. So we finally spotted a muskox. He's headed up on a bench, so there could be more on the other side. So we're going to beeline it over there and have a look, see what we see. Just on the other side of the caribou. So there's caribou right here? Yeah, there's six or seven caribou. Yeah, when well you go past, you know you go past them. You can't see anymore because we're too close to the shore. But when we were back out there, I could see 
They're all walking that way. We know the muskox went across that way. So, wind's this way. So I think we want to sneak around this hill and just sort of have a peek and see if we can see them. And then we'll just keep working our way. We know they're going that way. We'll just um, take our time, not rush. And uh, just keep glassing along the way and see what happens. So what's the plan, Kevin? We'll go up top here and we'll see where they're at. We saw six or seven. Right. Well, I guess we don't want to skyline ourselves too much. No, so we'll kind of sneak up here and see if we can see them on the other side. Okay. And there was those caribou that were just over yep. this lip, so... There are seven or eight good bulls over there. Cool. This segment is brought to you by Stony Creek Hunting Gear. It's in the blood. That other big bull is just behind those two cows. So you can't, you can just see his hump. What's going on? We're looking at a whole bunch of muskox and we're trying to decide there's, there's two good bulls there. Um, so I'm just busy picking them apart and figuring out, trying to figure out which one is the, the biggest bull. We also have a very young bull that's only like, 50 yards away from us, right below Kevin. So, super exciting. Okay, you gotta look at this, TJ. Which one do you think's bigger? Ooh, the one on the left. Yeah, I think you're right. The one on the left is way bigger, way bigger. Well, I'd like to get a better look at him. We've been watching these two bulls and trying to figure out which one was the bigger one. And um, the one that we thought was maybe the bigger one that was on the right came out. And then another one came up over the other side and we thought it was the, the other one we were watching. We're like, great, we're going to see them side by side. We'll be able to compare. And I'm like, oh, the one, the other one is like way bigger, like way bigger. It dwarfs the other one. And then I glass over and the one that we wanted to compare it to is bedded over here. So this is a whole new bull. And he just went over the other side so we can't see him again, but we've got lots of time. It's only like 11 o'clock in the morning. And I'd rather take a bull by itself than try and get in on a whole herd. So we sat long enough. We knew they weren't going to come to us. Yep. We couldn't go around that way. Yeah, the wind, where the wind is, we can't go that way. We're exposed. Even if we go behind the lake, we're totally mm -hmm. exposed. The only thing we can do is try and circle this hill and get into the next draw or one more draw over. 
they're sitting at about 300 yards away. They were as close as 260. And we had that young bull walk within yeah. 45 yards of us. Yeah, and I mean, we know, because we saw that bull walk yeah. over the side, we know there's more, more on the, on other, the side. other side. Yeah. Go slow, Go take slow. our time, yeah. get her done. many eyes. We were hoping that there was this ridge went further and then we could go along and come around but I think we're just gonna have to take our chances. Stay tuned next week when Vanessa comes face to face with a top five muskox in the world. For more information on the incredible hunting and fishing opportunities at Elmer Lake Lodge, check them out online at elmerlakelodge.com. Outdoor Quest TV is also brought to you by these fine sponsors.